Wee, wee, ouch. What happened, Panda? I was playing and I fall down. My knee hurts. Oh, I'm sorry. But do you know what? Matthias is going to explain why everything on earth goes down. Really? I want to listen to him. Yeah, kids. Forces and machines. We're going to study forces, magnetism, gravity, simple machines, and finally, complex machines. Let's get started. Forces. Forces can make an object start moving, stop moving, change shape, or break. We cannot see the forces, but we can see the effects. Some objects change shape permanently, others change shape temporarily. The ones that are rigid can break. Friction occurs when two objects rub against each other. Magnetism. Some forces act where there is no contact between objects. They are called non-contact forces. Magnets have a negative force. They attract certain metal objects. They have two poles, north and south. When we put the same poles together, they repel each other. When we put the opposite poles together, they attract each other. Gravity. It is a force that pulls everything towards the Earth. We see the effects of gravity when we throw or drop a ball. Simple machines. Simple machines have one or a few parts. Many of them make it easier to move or lift things because they reduce the amount of force we need to use. Four basic simple machines are the wheel, the pulley, the inclined plane, and the lever. And here you are the examples. You can see the four of them. Complex machines. Complex machines are made of many parts. They perform more complex tasks than simple machines. They often work with electricity or fuel. They make life easier for us at home and they help us to save energy. And here you are the examples. Car, plane. Did you like it, Panda? Oh, yeah. On my knee doesn't hurt anymore. That was so interesting. Thank you, Matthias. Bye-bye.